welcome to a new episode of the Fox and the Ships podcast. My name is Nina and I'm coming to you from the beautiful Bavaria in Germany. Uh, first of all, welcome to all new viewers. Since my last episode, uh, so many of you who have found this podcast, now we are almost now over 2000 followers, then that's really amazing. I'm so happy that so many have found this podcast and like it and subscribed. So welcome to you. This is um, a podcast about knitting, mainly knitting right now, but I'm also talking about spinning, embroidery, sewing, carving, and maybe some, sometimes some other things. Yes, so welcome you all to this episode. I will start by telling you the big news about my pattern. I talked about it in the last episode and now I will finally show them to you. If you follow me on Instagram, you maybe have, may have seen the pattern already, but um, in case you've not, here they are. You see. So this is the design I have come up with and it was a birthday gift for my mom. Her birthday was uh, early October and it has become some kind of a tradition that I'm making something fox related for my mom for her birthday and this year I made her this pattern and I came up with this pattern just a week before her birthday and it just came to me and was I just wrote it down and it was almost perfect I just um, modified it a little bit and then I knitted them and they fit perfectly so I can show you and I fit her perfectly as well and we came up with the name for these mitts together and the name is Schönach mitts and Schönach means it um, spells Sionach and it means fox in Gaelic and yeah so I think it's a beautiful name for these little mitts and the yarn I used for them is uh, Marie Wallen's own yarn I don't know the name of the yarn but I would put it down there and these were leftovers my, from my mom. She had knit, she knitted um, a sweater from Marie Wallen. I don't know, remember what sweater, but yeah, she had a few leftovers and I picked out some colors and she had a perfect colors um, for these mitts. So I chose this beautiful red orange and this darker red and this beige white whitish color and the yardage for this yarn is almost the same as the Jamesons of Shetland um, but this yarn is a little bit more more fussy than the Jamesons and I really love love this yarn it's really soft and I would like to knit um, more with it and yeah so this is the first pair I made and as you can see I embroidered the eyes and the nose and the dark stitches around the eyes and ears with duplicate stitch so you knit the the fox um in in only in the in the main color even the, the nose and the eyes and afterwards when you have finished your mitts you embroider these stitches with duplicate stitch so it's a really simple pattern, you don't need a lot of yarn. Um, you can use all kinds of, of leftovers. Here I started another one, the first one is already finished. This is also made from Scare Brands. The, the, the blue one is uh, Erland's Ulcentrum yarn. And the white one is some Gotland yarn I had at home. And can see this one is a little bit bigger than this because the yarn was a little bit uh, thicker uh, than this one but I used the same needle size so they fit we really well 
um, as well. <laughs> and they're really snug. And for both mitts, I used the 2.25 millimeter needles. I think this is uh, size one in the US. And yeah, but if you want, I have quite small hands. But if you want some bi bigger mitts, you can just go up a needle size to 2.5 millimeter needles and use use a, um, a thicker yarn. So it's really easy to adjust um, the size of your mitts. And you can adjust the length of the cuff if you like, make it shorter or longer. Yeah, so a really simple, cute pattern, I think, and I'm really happy. And right now the pattern has been test knitted by my test knitters and uh, almost finished. So I hope I can publish the pattern in one to two weeks, hopefully. Uh, yeah, but I will let you know in my on my Instagram and maybe make a quick video here on YouTube when I will publish the pattern on Ravelry. Um, yes, and Sophia. Carborn visited us last week and it was we had an amazing time together just sitting and knitting all day long and we we visited cities around here with beautiful places and had so much fun together and she cast on and test knitted my mitts for me and we made a little video where we sit and chat about a pattern, me, my mom and Sophia. And I will put this video uh, in here for you right now, for you to see. And you can see um, her version of the mitts. And me and my mom also knitted one pair together. I made the left mitt and she made the right mitt uh, for Dennis because he couldn't come. So we thought we would make a pair of mitts for him as well. So I will show in the little video coming up right now, you will see all four different versions of the mitts. Can you show us a little bit on the
Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Um, mm, enough about the pattern right now. Um, let's go on to finished objects because I have quite a few small finished objects this week. And the first one was almost finished already last episode and I actually finished it the same day I recorded my last episode. And it's the hat dana. So it's a blend between a hat and a bandana. And yeah, I really, really love it. I used it quite a lot as a um, bandana, but also sometimes as a hat. And it's a bit, little bit big for me, but I like it anyway. And my my boyfriend, he really loves it. He borrowed it several times and uses it and maybe I will give it to him and make another one for me a little bit smaller because I really like the idea and it's really fun to knit and it goes really fast and yeah, it's, it's really fun. So I can show you how it looks. You can have it like this. It's like a banana. Or you can have it like this. You see. And I think that looks really cute as well. And it keeps your ears warm and it's really nice that you can have your hair loose if you have long hair. Because if you have a hat, um, sometimes a little bit freaky if you have a bun or if you have loose hair. It looks weird in here. Just can have the hair blowing out like this. So, yeah, I think it's a really, really great pattern. The pattern is by Diana Byron and yeah, I think you should really check it out for the colder weather coming up now. And yes, that was my first finished object. Second one is a little baby hat I made looks like this for the baby and this I knitted in pure silk yarn it's really light and really really soft perfect for a newborn so I made a newborn 
size and I will hope it will fit when the baby when the baby comes and actually me and my partner found a stone I'll show you the stone <laughs> and when we found the stone I said that it had the same size as the baby's head when the baby comes out maybe a little bit bigger but yeah my my sister measured the, the stone and had had the same measurements than in her first daughter when she was born and then I put this little hat on the stone because it has the shape of of a head I think and it fits perfectly I will show you <laughs> look at that really cute and I have it on display like this in my bedroom right now I become I think it looks really cute. And this little hat is is in the same set that I from Petite Knit that I, from where I knitted the little cardigan I showed you in the last episode. It's called Ellen's um, Ellen's baby set, I think. And this is the the hat and. So I have made the hat, the cardigan, and now I just have to make the little um, pants. And yeah, I think I have a lot more of this silk yarn. I think I can make two more um, of this, or maybe one bigger and yeah, size. And I thought I maybe will um, dye it with some natural dyes in some pretty color. So I have some different ones because it was really easy and it's it's so soft and, and light so it's also good for inside in the beginning when they are small. Yes and then I knitted one more hat because it, it was so much fun to knit these baby hats and I cast on one more and it looks like this. And this is also a pattern by Kitty Knit called let me see Karen's Bonnet. And I think it's so cute. The pattern is, or this is um, smocking stitch. You can see that. And I made this in a slightly bigger um, size than the first one. Um, yeah, and I don't know. It's this is dark red, but maybe it's for my baby. I don't know the gender yet, or it's for my sister because she's having a girl and maybe I will gift it to her or I keep it myself, we'll see. But it's, it's a really cute, cute pattern and it was really fun to knit this uh, smocking stitch. It was the first time I tried it and it took me, I think, three rounds to get it right. I didn't get it in the beginning, I had to rip back several times, but in the end I I knew how to do it and that it just worked perfectly fine. This little bonnet, really cute. Yes, that was all of my finished objects for this episode. Um, but I have cast on some new things. And the first one is a test knit for uh, Vila Haka. She's called uh, on Instagram, her name is Ronja Hakaretto. She's um, from Finland, and yeah, I have I'm finished with the body. You see, and now I'm um, making the sleeves. Just starting with the sleeves, and they are knitted in flower, which stitch I think the this is called. Um, yeah, it really, it's really fun to knit and I'm knitting this in Brooklyn Treat Loft. I have two skeins left and I hope that one skein will be enough for one sleeve. I've used three skeins for the entire body, so I hope, I hope that it will be enough. Otherwise I will have to order some more. And yeah, it's this really beautiful grayish, purplish, brownish color. I don't really know what color it is. It has a lot of different 
colors blue specks and white and brown and gray so yeah it's really beautiful the the, the it's called storm cloud i think it's the perfect name for this one like a storm cloud i'm really looking forward to finish finishing this pattern and i think the pattern will come out next week already and yeah, it's called Murono sweater and she has also a really beautiful hat with this pattern that has already come out um, but I will if you want to knit this sweater I will put all the information um, in links down below so you can find her library store um, and she has some other be really beautiful patterns in her library store already I have knitted on my arena sweater at all just lying there right now resting again <laughs> because I have been too busy with my Rono test knitting and so I had, it has to wait a bit and then I cast on some socks for my boyfriend and I was inspired by this little pattern in my in my mitts so I just started knitting a pair of socks with this um, pattern they look like this and I, it's, it's a toe up no cuff down sock and I made um, a thicker heel I don't know how to call a, a slip stitch heel I think call it and yes so it is the first sock and I'm using um, let's see, the alpaca strumpe garn from Sandness and it's 70% alpaca and 30% nylon so it's really really soft I don't usually like to use alpaca for color work but that works actually really well so that's fun. And right now I'm really in love with this pattern. I can't put it aside. I just have to knit, 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 and because it's so much fun, this this pattern. And I think I maybe will make a pattern out of these socks. What do you think? Do you think I should make write down the pattern? It's not really difficult. I just knitted the socks the same way I always knit. Um, my socks are uh, really simple and yeah I'm thinking about writing writing down the the pattern so maybe I will do that um, yes and I think that's everything for this episode I don't have so much more to show you yeah I really hope you like this short little episode I really hope I can publish my mitts pattern really soon and yeah, I, as I said, I will let you know on my Instagram and yeah, I hope you liked this episode and I see you next time. Bye!